we have been working um, off stream um, let's change the layout here screen share here we'll do that Why is that stretched out? Don't like it. What is? Okay, I do not like. That. Fit. Yeah, that looks much better. Doesn't make sense, why is it? <clears throat> I'm not sure why it's stretched. We're gonna leave it stretched out. We'll try it another day. It's not really important for today to get that fixed up. All right, so where were we? We were looking at the project. Um, local host is up. Yep. All right, we probably zoomed in. All right. So, yeah, so that doesn't play. Oh, wow, look at that. It's continually rendering something. Oh, uh, yeah, we, we have a major bug here. Um, but that's not as big of a deal than um, just actually getting it working. So, we will. I, I think today, like, it's kind of, it's, it's taking me so long to try and figure this out. So today, we're just going to see if we can make this work. Um, though I also have the other project. Yo, what's up, Hosso312? Welcome to the stream. We are building a sequencer and I am running into a bug where the audio does not buffer. Um, okay. Genoa, let's go ahead and switch the screen back up because this one does not have enough space for me to work off. Screen share, let's change that to... Yeah, let's go and use this one. All right, perfect. Go and drop that right there. Dun, dun. Mm -hmm. 
Caray. All right, so what was I doing here? Drum machine, drum sequencer. Don't even know why I imported that. Let's get rid of that. So buffered sounds is a URL, uh, the new promise. Quite remember which one's which. Um, so if if playing style, do I stop? Time. Looks at tracks. Okay, so that's that one. Drum sequencer. All right, let's start this one up. Then. Um, would you like to open another port? Yes. Okay, three thousand two. So this one. Child, whatever, whatever, that doesn't really matter. So that is this one, and here's the other one that this one doesn't even play, right? Yeah, I know the design's all messed up. We, we're gonna make it functional first and then work on the actual look and feel of stuff, but I can't even get it functional right now. I can be full loaded. This doesn't make much sense. <sighs> I'm just trying to kind of work my way backwards and figure out what I was trying to do here. So I created a different project, basically cloned it, and then I was switching some stuff to try and test something. But right now, I just do not remember what I was 
trying to do. Okay, let's compare. Okay, so this one. All right. So we've got a sequencer and drum pads uh, and same components. So sequencer and this one. Um, okay, okay. Okay, so I got rid of the config. I remember that. Uh, moved config to track component. Okay, so this wasn't. Um, Tone.sampler. So this one doesn't do anything. So this this app here, um, it takes everything. This literally does nothing. All it does is set up the styling for the sequencer component, but this doesn't hold any state. It doesn't hold anything. So all of that is basically <laughs> useless there. Uh, what it does have is the track, but it doesn't even pass any props to it because the config, I moved all of that over to the track component, right? So everything on this app uh, happens in the track component. Use BPM, use style, all of that is commented out. This one's also commented out. So the magic for this one, everything is in the tracks component. All right, we'll take a look at that. On this one, however, we were trying to do stuff directly in the sequencer. So I tried buffering it with tone.buffer, it didn't work. Tone.sampler. Kind of feel like uh, I need to take some notes here. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go to our project. All right, so there's a drum machine. Now we are doing. In pro, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a card today just for audio will not buffer. Oh, and this is. I want to say that's the bug. Actually, yeah, let's add some, let's add some property here. What should we call it? Type, select, yeah, property, maybe feature, bug, or maybe just some research as well. So this one is a bug, right? Um, audio. Wait, what's the error message again? Yeah. I, feel like I just need to write it down and think through it step by step until we figure out what the problem is. Um, so that's the error. What I think is a problem. Okay, I guess the question is how do I buffer the sounds? So I've tried tone dot buffer URL. Yeah, that didn't work. All right. So if we take a look at our thing, okay. So we got tone dot sampler.
Okay, and now we got these two things, which I don't know what the differences are. So we, we're going to see if we can figure that out. So probably help if I just did that. Trying to move it right here so we can kind of flick through easily. Track in the extract. So this one, I think I actually, you know, I've got a code sandbox that is working. Vanilla React, what was it called? This one. So this one. Might be this one here, actually. Um, BRB. All right, so we're yes, yeah, so this one works. I don't man, this is um. Do not understand why that one works, but the other one doesn't. I mean, okay, so let's do, if we compare these two, that to my um, sequencer here, right? which is the direct it's a direct link to the file um to master i gotta go to destination here because our two master doesn't work anymore it's been deprecated I mean, that should should be identical to what I've got here, actually. I mean, oh, well, actually, the grid one is not going to work. Yeah, all of that is... All of that is whatever. Doesn't make much sense. Uh, 
Drums is new tone dot sampler. Drums is new tone sampler, and then all right, okay, that's that's what it was. I tried directly and it didn't work, and then I tried this buffer method, tone the buffer, and that still didn't work. Um, all right, let's go back to what's this buff thing? Okay, that was just me testing, testing something out. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so we're trying this again. Let's copy that. We just need to replace the. Um, so instead of buffering, okay, this is going to be kind of manual, but it's got to be done. Yeah, okay. Seven, how many I got left? Yeah, perfect. Put that bad boy in there. We're gonna take this one, put it in there. Because I do have a working one. So if it works, I mean, it should work here. It doesn't make sense why it wouldn't work or it shouldn't work. <clears throat> All right, so you can take that, take it right there, and then the last one is buffer now, whatever that is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so that one is drum sequence, uh, drum machine. Yeah, that one should be this one here. So it still gives me the same error. Right. Kick. Play. Yeah, either not loaded or, or something, something, something. All right. It's helpful, but not really. Okay, so let's go to the one <clears throat> that is working. This one has a synth. Wait, this one works. Okay, that one should be identical actually. So will we um Recently close tab. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so we got the sampler. Perfect. Cont synth equals new polysynth to to master. We go to destination. I don't think that should make any difference, but let's just see if it breaks it in here. It doesn't. Um hang on, let's make sure we got the right version of um Tone, where's tone? Tone is 14.7.77. Uh, what do we have installed on this one? It's configuration. Four 
14.8.2. So this one's even has a newer version. Okay, well, okay, let's let's change it up. All right, so we're updating. Um, well, while we're at it, let's update it on this one too. <laughs> um, it's the exact same. All right. I think I need to run an npm install. Um, so that should update the... Tone at least, right? <clears throat> Alright, so we go to Sequencer with our app. Let's refresh. And um, try again. So at least we know that is not what's causing the issue. <clears throat> yeah okay that doesn't make much difference okay we got the tracks um which is basically the same Generate steps creates 16, which again, exactly the same. Um, BPM the value, we can add that later on. So the initial steps is track to map, track, um, create an object. Um, the name is, name is track and steps is basically generate these steps which uh, yeah which is the same thing all right so here's the component um sequencer so the other one has a different name but it should be the same uh, 
So we got a plane, not plane, <clears throat> tracks, set tracks, which again is exactly the same. This one does have a use ref, which I haven't used, so we'll go ahead and comment this out. And I'll load it. Okay, I tried to load it thing as well. We'll get rid of it for now. I know that's gonna complain because that one. Uh, make sure that doesn't break the app. Okay, it does break the app <laughs> completely right here because of step index. What step index? Oh, because I used that. Actually, we do need the step index. Let's just get that back in there. Okay, now it's complaining that um, is loaded, isn't working. Scoop walk. Hey, what's up, Scoop? What's going on? How's how's your? It's been like two weeks, I think, since I last spoke. How's your? How's your week been? The previous two weeks. Is lo is loaded is not defined. Okay, is loaded is not defined because I just removed it. Let's go ahead and okay, disable it if, if it's not loaded, which I can get rid of for now. All right, so that should be everything. It's not completing now, which is fantastic. Life is good. Life is great. Me too, man. It's going well. It is going well. I'm just excited to like be building projects now. Okay, it's not everywhere now, which is okay, but it's not playing the sound either. Wait, why is it not error erroring out anymore? Have you finished Eloquent JavaScript? I have not. I started it um, and then I just jumped into React and things like that. What did I do? I did do, let's see, I can show you how much I've done. So if you went to my notes, I think I, uh, let's see. Hell can JavaScript, there you go. Yeah, I got up to chapter three functions. Um, and then exercises. Oh no, I did. Did I get up here? Did. Yeah, that should be the answer. So I got up to chapter 5 everything. So I completed that exercise, looks like. Unless that's a note. I don't think there's a note. Those, those should be exercises. And then I stopped. It's been a while. When was this last update? It doesn't tell me. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's how far I got. <clears throat> what about you? Um, what am I doing? Okay. I got up to promises the first time. Okay. Promises. How far? How far was that? So I got up to chapter five. I don't believe I touched promises. I think I only got up to functions. Yeah. Yeah, I might revisit just to brush up and get like good um page 160 okay yeah that's way deeper than how far I got attempt number two I like it man second time's a charm every time's a charm but second time is definitely the charm I might join you later on I'm not sure I do want to go through it at some point, but it's, it's not something I want to do right now. My plan right now is to um, just just build some projects and to learn. Hey, what's up, Marble? How's it going, man? I was able to write a lot of stuff without it. Okay, cool. What's going on, Marble? It's been it's been two weeks, man. How's things? Um, yeah, let's go with that. 
So Marble, I'm at a stage where so we built, we did some projects, we're using MongoDB and connecting all of that using Node.js. Um, so I kind of know the basics of that. Yeah, so not the basics of that. So now we're just going to try and actually build projects and connect them all together. Um, I've kind of been <laughs> kind of been procrastinating with this issue and today the only thing I'm going to do I'm going to be doing until we figure this out is just work on this uh, the problem is I get a buffer not defined error and now I'm trying to walk through my code like this one here works on code sandbox now you can hear that's a sound place yeah but it doesn't work on my local environment and I'm trying to debug and see what's up but it's been so long since i last looked at the code i've forgotten all the things i was trying so i'm kind of having to start from ground um zero, zero again step one again so yeah i think a lot of it today we're just gonna be trying to walk myself through what i was doing and just trying to figure out the code i've written here um this one so right now is basically go through this code and rebuild it because this one definitely works yeah okay it, um, it's kind of like going two steps back and then a step forward kind of thing i think if i can get this going by saturday uh that would be a big win for me Hey, we've got a couple more people. What's going on? Who else is there? Uh, so, Marble, Scoob, Jane, Ads, Son, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Wait, watch me struggle and try and build stuff. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, all right. So, if you take a look at our component, uh, we have... Drum sequence, uh, is this the one? Yeah, okay. So we got playing and set playing, which is use state, we got tracks and set tracks, which is use state initialized to the initial steps. Step index is a ref um, initialized to zero, and then we've got a use effect. Tone or context or state? What the hell was that? Tone or context or state? I do not remember typing that. I'm looking at solid JS, pretty nice, kind of like React 2, but a solid JS. Yeah, what is that? SolidJS UI library, declarative. Man, there's so many frameworks. We wrote the fastest JS UI again. Ah, oh, same one. <clears throat> 10,000, 11,000 stars, so looks fairly popular. How come you, you're learning this or so trying out just for funsies or like using at work? Oh, it's kind of different syntax here. Huh? All right, okay. Um, back to the issue at hand all right let's go and rewrite this i do not know why i wrote that so i'm going <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and comment it out anything that doesn't make sense i don't want to delete just gonna comment assessing if i even need react into the future oh really is it i thought react was the future 
<laughs> That's kind of like what I'm learning now. Um, okay, use effect. Okay, so it's looking at play. Uh, yeah, do that playing all right, cool. Man, I can just copy this. I don't need to write it from scratch. Are you are you building anything into solid JS or just looking at the docs? Or are you actually like trying to build something, a to do app or something like that? All right, so we have that, which should break the app because I don't oh know the app's still up. It's interesting. There we go. There is the error. That's what we needed. Um, stocks for now. Okay. Yeah, that's something I, I um struggling with is reading the docs and trying to figure things out. Like, I mean, going through the Tone JS documentation, and I, I think this is like the first doc that I'm really digging into. Maybe it's just bad docs, but I'm finding it very difficult to kind of <laughs> figure out what they mean. Even the example's confusing. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to kind of get good at reading docs and figuring stuff out. Use effect. Okay, uh, I'm just blindly copying stuff here. So anytime the playing state changes, um, run this use effect. And if it, if playing is true, then start or else stop. Uh, playing should be done with this uh, hand click function. All right, we'll come back to that. All right, so here's the meat and potatoes of this app. Um, wow, it says it's using a hundred man. I can't wait for the new Apple uh, event. Damn, this is really green. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the new MacBook to drop with the M1, M1X or M2, whatever it is. I'm not sure if they're going to announce it this in September or maybe an October event. Uh, the big thing about React is you need an external library like Redux or any kind of major global set tracking with SolidJS and stuff is baked in. Oh, wow, okay. Redux. Oh, I need to... I remember doing the Redux thing in the free code camp um, tutorials. It was something about action types and dispatches, but I've, I've forgotten all that. Um... I think I'll probably need Redux for this app when I, I can get this stuff working first and then realize how bad it is or how difficult it is. And then we can try SolidJS at some point. Uh, but yeah, okay. All right, where are we? Turn the transport to cancel, turn the transport to schedule repeat function. Takes time. Track stop for each track and then my step. I mean, this is identical one for your code. Else drum, drums, step index, current index 14, 0. Yeah, that, that's identical. And then handle hat, we've got handle click. Uh, we just do uh, set playing to playing. Like it just flips it on and off, um, true or false here. All right, all of that is Gucci. So actually, let's, um, let's stand up, make the most of the stand-up desk. That's another thing I need to start doing too, is um, get more active. All right. <clears throat> I kind of want to switch screens. Honestly, it's kind of secondary for me. I already decided on view on my Insta of Solid Ryan. Oh, okay. Vue.js. Yeah, I've been watching stuff like off stream, just kind of reading on stuff. I was looking at people, people have different opinions and they're talking about Vue or like, I can't pronounce this thing, Spelt or Spelt T, Spelt, I think it's called. 
and you're mentioning solar js i'll probably try all of them at some point but i kind of want to i'm still a newbie at react so once i get my feet wet with this we'll probably once i know the good and the bad about this that it'll be easy for me to compare and be like okay that that's stupid uh, why did they add this in or oh, that's missing Uh, okay. So we have a update step function which uses a callback. Use callback. So what does that do? Memorize callback, use callback, um, do something, and then it returns a memorized callback. Pass an inline callback and an array of dependencies, callback returns a memorized version callback that only changes one of the dependencies changed. This is useful when passing callbacks in optimized child and the rely depends on the what use cases. Oh, you mean like different, um, Frameworks, Spelt is best, we need to optimize. We need a very tiny JS bundle. Okay, React, none of that made any sense to me. Um, okay, we'll leave it in there because it does work. It does work on our code sandbox. So let's leave that in there for now. Uh, that can go too, actually. That's, um... All right. There we go. Function track index, step index, tracks is through the tracks. That's kind of logging the tracks there. So that's all the logic code, which which is again is okay because I I use the same thing. Um, and now here's the the content of the actual page. So there's there's two things. So the first one is the button that changes the state, playing and not playing. So on click handle hat. Uh, the button for us. Also, I don't know why the format that keeps adding these these things. Very annoying. I need to I need to figure out how to actually not have I add this um, thing. Oh. Uh, Man, getting a bit delete happy there. Okay, so on click, it's gonna go handle click. If playing is true, then stop, otherwise play. Uh, and yeah, that's identical there too, which is horrifying. So this button here is cool. Mm -hmm. Now here's the thing. Uh, views final bundle size is a bit larger, but you get better code separation. Best in a large corporation, it's easily composable, adaptable. So everything JS needs to manipulate stuff. Okay. 
So if I'm reading that right, Svelte is speed. Not really speed. Um, it's the size. I mean, view size is larger, but you get better code separation and features and react if you're large. So it sounds like view. I should be using view because I'm not a large corporation. I am not looking to optimize space or size right now. So I should probably try and view then, right? <laughs> VMS code, what's up? Welcome to the stream. All right, let's see what's going on here. Let's see if we can make sense of this code. Uh, it did make sense to me three weeks ago when we wrote it, but now it's all gone. All right, this is a bit. Okay, so we're mapping through the tracks array. Right, for each track and index, the tracks, 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 what's tracks? Tracks is, yeah, tracks is basically the uh, those things. So mapping for each of those and for each track and the index. Uh, we're gonna return a div. Um, key of that. It's got an inline style that doesn't really do much. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, small is always better because smaller code is the fastest and more responsive. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> At the moment, I just want to get this work, and then optimization will come secondary to me. Uh, yeah, I kind of feel like by everything you said makes sense. That I uh, will look into that. Definitely will look into that. <laughs> right now, I just need to actually make it work. Which, yeah. What was uh, one word? I see you, man. What's going on? But um, yeah, I would like to test all of those out, try all of those out, and then and kind of understand what each of them do. Okay, so that, all of that is basically the same. So we're mapping to tracks, and it's creating a div, and then inside of that div, yeah, uh, we're gonna map through the track as well. Actually, track those steps map. Well, let's track those steps. I think we can do one of these, right? Track. Can we do that? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. console the log. Well, what is that? Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. I broke something. Oh, there we go. What? What is your problem? Errors, errors, and errors, man. This is, this is what we're going to be staring at for the next however long it takes to figure out. Objects are not a valid child. I did a console lock. Is that the? Oh, because it's not within within these things. There we go. Okay, that was a problem. All right, so that's a, that's what a track is. We're gonna do track and then actually let's do track dots. Hang on. 
So track is an object which has a name and the steps. All right, okay. Right, because that was the initial steps, right? It's all about the trade-off and figuring out where your tipping point is. For most of us, it's right where view is sitting at, hence why it's more kid of stars, even though React is perceived to be... I did not know that view had more stars. I did not know that. Track those steps, man. Um... Why does it not like that? So track is an object. I gotta go track dot track dot track dot track dot steps. For some reason it doesn't like what's the problem? Expected a comma. Why? What am I missing here, guys? <clears throat> Alright, I'm just gonna track. I'm missing something, something silly there, I think. Now, let's, let's remove the object. Okay, it likes that, cool. Good enough for me. Hercule, Hercule Smith, <laughs> what's up, man? What's up, man? How's it going? So you're new here, so a quick introduction about myself. Uh, I started learning to code September last year. So we're about a year into this thing. Um, I took a couple of months off in the break, so really about eight months, uh, even then here and there. So, um, yeah, so I started learning the code and now we're kind of building projects. But first project I'm trying to build is a step sequencer. Um, and actually, I'm, I'm going to try and actually see if I can sell this stuff and build an actual business behind this. Because my, so my brother is a producer, he, cre he creates beats. So the beats you're listening to now on the stream is actually his stuff, like this, this, all of this. So yeah, he sells beats online and then he sells kits online as well. And I want to see if we can... So kit is basically the building blocks of creating beats. Like little one second snippets and, and um, the different drum sounds. And he also creates... The, um, I, don't, I don't know the term and all, just like samples I guess you'd call it. Or like melodies, the things. He plays the guitar and records sounds. And other beat producers buy this stuff so they can create music from that it's like a building block thing um and i'm looking at how everyone else does it like um they, they create videos where you kind of show off the sound so my idea my thing was like hey let's build this thing and have people actually play with the sounds and they can get a feel for it and then if they want it they can buy it so yeah this is actually going to turn into our first project and we're going to see if we can uh one week if we can build it and two if we can actually have people try it and see if we can make anything from it. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing for the next couple of weeks. Uh, do you know how to step through code with VS? VS Ghost Debugger? I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to finish writing this code first and then we'll dig into the VS Debugger thing. Okay, let's refresh that. Uh, what about you, Hercules? Are you a seasoned vet? Are you a learner like me? Track the tracks in the undefined. All right. So maybe it was just track the steps, hey? Yeah, what's your story, man? All right, here we go. It says track because I put track in there, but that is track those steps. So at this step, what we're doing is, um, 
Yeah, we can get rid of that. I've been doing tech since I was nine, so almost 20 years now. Nice. So I'm assuming you work in tech or have a business in tech. That's cool, man. I wish I just learned to code when I was young. I don't know, I never got into it. But hey, it's never too late, right? <clears throat> the next 20 years, that's gonna count. All right, let's refresh that again. So that should be now gone. Um, so now that we know what track the steps is, we're gonna map, yeah, map through that. Through each step, there's gonna be a step index. And we're gonna return, this is a key, we're gonna return a div, right? So div is basically the, these each of these things. And each of those is going to have a on-click handler, which is going to update the step. Well, we're just going to have an update step function, which takes the index and the step index. Index and the step index. Okay, so index is the is the track, and the step index is the. So, so index is this stuff. It's gonna say okay, it's gonna be like index one, it's gonna be clap, and the step index is gonna be one of these 16 divs. Right? Yeah, it's gonna take that and it's gonna run update step on it. Uh, which is a callback track index and step index. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to do that new track index and step. So if new tracks, um, all right, and then we're going to assign it. If it equals zero, then make it one. Otherwise, leave it zero. All right. And then we're going to set tracks. Okay, it says all that's saying is basically when I click on it, check if the current state of that is zero or yeah, it is zero. If it's zero, turn it on. Otherwise, leave it zero. And once you've done all of that, update the step, update the state of the tracks here. So we're updating the initial step, and then we're going to be playing that at some point. Uh, no snow too late, I'll be out of this business in like five years so you guys can take over. <laughs> nah, man. Dude, I'm, I'm like the same age as you from what you said. It's been 20 years, 29 years old. You're 29 years old, right? Yeah. I'm older than you. Um, did I write all of this myself? Yes and no. I'm kind of... Uh, I found some example codes in, uh, online, so copied some, wrote, like, I wrote, I wrote the design stuff myself, uh, all of this stuff. It, it looks kind of horrible, so, okay. Alright, let me show you the other one, where's the other one? So this is what the final thing should look like. Wait, that's the same one. All right here. So this is going to be the actual design, like, but right now I've removed all of this. I cloned the thing and I wanted to get um, the sequence to work first. Yeah, definitely, definitely not 100% myself. But like, yeah, I wrote, I wrote this probably three weeks ago now, four weeks ago, and I forgot everything. Um, so now going back and. Just trying to understand what I wrote. Hmm, so fair enough, okay. So where were we? Uh, yeah, so it's gonna update the thing to zero. That's all this is doing, which is all right. And it's just got some inline styles. Um, yeah, whatever.
Okay, so that is just a div. And then we have a button which plays the thing. So on click, it's going to go handle click and handle click. Yeah, it's just playing. You can say stop otherwise play and handle, ki handle click basically just flips the playing state on and off. If it's true, false, otherwise true. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so I am happy with that. But now, here, here's the issue that I'm running into, and I can't for the life of me figure out. So if I try and play this now, we're going to get this nice error. Yeah, buffer is either not set or loaded. There we go, boom, boom, boom. The exact same code, exact same setup on code sandbox. No problem, play just fine. There you go. So, okay, so we got this file, which is good. Um, how the hell do we start debugging this? Why would it work here? No, I just checked the tone um, version. That's also fine. Same version library. Oh, yeah, I actually checked that. Um, just double check though, right? So what I did was I went to where did I go? Oh here, yeah, package JSON. Yeah, it's even highlighted because I was highlighting earlier. Fourteen point eight point two six. Oh, maybe React is different. Let's let's check. So yeah, material UI, whatever, whatever. Um, I do have a higher React on this one. React version shouldn't matter, all right. Apparently I have React Redux for some reason. React scripts. Yeah, tone. So I copied tone and pasted it in here and I did run npm install. So I should have updated it. Hmm. All right, how are you testing it? <laughs> I have no idea. Actually, would you like help? I would love help debugging this because I've been stuck at it for so long. Uh, I did look at like other people running into this and they're saying try all of this stuff, but like, but I'm like, if it works, the same method, if it works in sandbox, it should work. I shouldn't, be have, I shouldn't have to do any additional stuff. Um, yeah, debugging would be great. So, audio is not buffered. I mean, I just ran through the entire code. Um, it's. So one thing I did try was I thought maybe I need to buffer the audio first. So I did new tone.buffer and that didn't work. So this was all of that nonsense, didn't work. So we kind of reverted the code back. What's handle click? Handle click sets the playing state on and off right here. Yeah, we can forget about that note there. It does go set playing to either tr if it's true, false, if it's false, true. Or oh, if it's playing, then make it not playing. And then playing then triggers right here, this uh, use effect. Uh, which is going to do turn to transport to start. Otherwise, it's going to stop it. Wait, so what actually triggers this one? I don't need to know what triggers that. Who's using the playing state? Who's using the playing state? Uh, this use effect is using the playing state. Uh, turn the transmit to the star. Okay, you're asking a good question, man. Making me think. All right, uh, all right. So 
tone dot transport star So it just starts something. Tone of transport, schedule, repeat, time, use the cover, and then tone of transport to start. Okay, so I should just play. So I should play. Okay, so now I'm kind of <laughs> confused myself. Um, all right, so playing. So we're up to here playing. When the playing, you know, is true, then it's gonna start the transport. What is this transport? Transport is for timing musical events, drums, timing pause events. Uh, the transfer object belonging to a global term just context, see transport or NSC. Oh, what was this? Dude, I, I love the documentation. It's like, hey, check this out, and it just reloads the page. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, okay. Properties, BPM. Schedule, <clears throat> turn around to the schedule. Schedule an event along the timeline. That one is no that's schedule repeat. Okay. Schedule one, schedule repeat. Um, Okay, so this does the star. This one is going to do this thing. It's going to render and do this thing when the tracks changes. Tracks is this right here. Um, and this. Can you show me the track stack trace again? Man, I have no idea what a stack trace. You mean the the error? Uh, this one. Okay. Yeah, I can zoom in if that helps. The boom in my console. I think it's a bit of a delay. The boom in my console. Um, so everything is just not loaded. I'm scrolling too fast, but I'm gonna pause. Okay, here's where it starts. Do you know what? Let me let me clear and run through again. So we get all of this nonsense, which is just key and stuff, which we can fix. So I can I select the whatever notes, right? And I hit play, and then boom, here's what we get. So play changes the state. Hey, what's up, Bert? How's it going, man? Uh, <laughs> the game's kind of kind of mess with the uh, reading the thing. I'm sorry. Hercules. <laughs> Once the game is starting, we have to read again. Um, but yeah, it says, the buff is not set. But did you, did you, uh, nothing much playing games? What game are you playing, man? 
Did you finish your um, exam? You didn't. I think it was IELTS, right? IELTS. I can't pronounce it. IELTS, IELTS. V4. I do not know what game that is. Um, sorry, Hercules. I'm just going to try and find the music here. Let me move this here. All right. You got eight out of nine. Nice. That's like one of the highest things you can get, right? Eight out of nine. That's that's amazing. Now you can now you can get a job in England. Come to rainy England. Um. Now let's see. Let's let's do this drop down. Sequencer, sampler, I'm going to click on this one, JS, because I do have a, whoa, uh, I found the same, this saying helping, <laughs> yeah, my bad, um, all right, so I clicked on that, it took me here. What the heck? Wait, wait, whoa. Console, what the? Dude, there's so many, okay. Sequencer. If I click on that. Uh, can you comment out the drums part? If the the drums part, um, where did I put the drums part? You mean all of this? Like this is the the sounds in the sequencer. In the component, uh, do I have drums in here? Like this bit here? Line 142, man. Fantastic, all right. So refresh, console, clear this, click on some random notes, and we press play. Hey, it's not everywhere now. Okay. Well, obviously the drums won't be playing, but it's not airing out either. But hang on, where's my code? This one? No. Okay. Well, actually, that makes sense. Why that wouldn't play? I thought that was an else condition. I mean, if I thought that was an error condition, no, 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 you're right. So it wouldn't play because that's the whole point of it. Test the synth. Uh, how did I do the synth? Hang on. Okay, so that one should be if it's. Um... Alright, let's sort of refresh and just play the synth. Simp does not give me an error. Interesting. <laughs> like, what the hell? Why does that not error out? Um, right, I'm going back to the code here. I mean, this one is a trigger attack release. This is trigger it. I mean, yeah, that's just the chord, and it's gonna play the chord. Can you come and log the track index? Index, yeah. All right, man. I, I just want to say, like, even if you don't, if you don't figure this out, I appreciate your help because I've been stuck on this for way too long. So this is uh, this is great. 
So before line 142, you want a console log. Well, we're gonna log. I cannot type. Track index index. All right. Very cool. Do a refresh again. Get rid of all of that nonsense. Click so. Ah, here we go. Yo, did you hear that? It's playing the synth in a loop. Synth sh what? I've got kick and... Yeah, there's the synth. So you're saying I've got... <laughs> so I've got the indexing thing wrong? B oh, okay, B2, F1, F1, what, a, what is that? Okay, well, there's nothing playing now. Why was the synth playing then? I am so confused. All right, let's refresh again. Wait. Yeah, why, why is the synth not playing? I don't understand. Um, uh, let's meditate on that use effect. All right, cool. Yeah, this one. I'm gonna just remove this because it's confusing me here. Okay, cool. So use effect. Go nice and big so it's easy to read. So there's a problem here somewhere. I, I do not understand why it played the chord at one point and then it didn't want to play the code. Um, hey, Winwood, what's going on? And welcome, welcome, welcome. How you been? So some reason it decided to play the code. So if step index dot current is less than seven, if index is a three. Wait, why do I have indexes free? You've come a long way. Thank you, man. Wouldn't be without help from you guys, especially Hercules today. So it's the fourth instrument. Oh, because I've got it right. Hang on. Because I got it on the fourth. So, because I got it on the hi hat, that's the problem. <laughs> so I'm using the wrong index for it. Oh, <laughs> that's so dumb. <laughs> Right, 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 right. So this should really be the... What is that? I don't know how many I've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it should be the 8th, right? Damn. Well, that, that's one bug. <laughs> Alright, let's say that. Man. Kind of feels like I'm getting it, but then it also shows how much I need to <laughs> learn. This is... Okay, cool. The synth works. Amazing. But I think, okay, hang on. But it still doesn't tell us why. Okay, this one should play the synth now. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, the synth works because the synth is generated, it generates it using the these um, chord thing. All right, so it's not, it doesn't need to buffer the sound. It doesn't need to load it from a file. Like, it's just there. Uh, eight, please, okay. Oh, I think there's a slight delay. Yeah, I think there's a slight delay. Um, so that just works, but if it needs to load, uh, if you show me the creation of drums, uh, okay, but if it needs to load, it doesn't work. So the drums, yeah, why is it not even, oh, because we commented it out. So I'm using toned or sampler. Maybe we need to try something else like toned or player or, or something. Um, I'm going to put this aside here. I think you can still read it. No, my, my face might cover it. I'm gonna sorry. I'm gonna move it again to the left. And I'm gonna look up something here on the right. Tone. 
So yeah, Windward man, what's, what have you been up to? Man, this test documentation is so hard to read. Tone, API, sampler. Okay, so sampler is the instrument I'm using. Okay, can you make this one a UR of the zero rather than a zero? I'm just gonna copy paste it. So. Also, how are you figuring this out? Are you looking at the documentation and finding that stuff? Okay, I'm gonna comment that bad boy out. I'm gonna paste your stuff. Actually, it got rid of a. You um, just reading the document library. Okay. Do I need anything before the URLs here? You got a... Oh, this is... Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I think it's th this, this thing here, front. No, it's not. I don't know. Or maybe I don't need that. Just, you mean just this? All right. So... It's perfect. All right, cool. Um... Yeah, I can just go ahead and copy all that actually. No, wrong button. Damn it, where we go? Okay, that's good. Uh, missed a comma. And, just, and then, all, all right. Fucking delay. Yeah, man, there's like a five second delay. So 20 second delay. Uh, what do we need? We need to try it now, really. Dude, if this works, I'm, I'm literally gonna jump. <laughs> jump in excitement if this if that was the issue. Uh alright, we're gonna get kick. Snare, snare, all that jazz, let's play. Hey, it is not editing out, which is great. Which is great. They do be commented. <laughs> That's why it's not editing now, Elite. Uh, where is it? There it is. All right. Let's try that. Let's try that again. It's not going to play if it's been commented out right. We're going to pick everything. Why not? Give it all we got. Oh, there we go. Let's get rid of that. All right. Cool. Maybe I'm using the wrong kind of thing, you know? Maybe it shouldn't be a sampler. Oh, that's where you got the URLs thing? Okay. On load, trigger attack release, sampler dot trigger attack release. Sampler the trigger attack release. That's what we have in drums. The trigger. Maybe I need a trigger attack release on it instead of this trigger attack. No. Hmm. That is not it. Also, you kind of talk like you're from London. Are you from the UK? I'm German. Gotcha. listen to too much crime yeah yeah exactly. crime is where you at bruv man i've listened to crime and like, it was it was a thing when i was in school yeah i think you're like my age right like crime at the time was like uh dizzy rascal and, and that kind of stuff 
Oh, uh, what was that song? I don't think it's actually Grime Grime, but it's, it's um, that, that song everyone was listening to at the time. I forget. Above Beyond. Uh, what's going on? Man, you're doing some advanced shit nowadays. I remember watching when you just first got in. Did you get a dev job? Hey, what's up, man? I have not got a dev job. I'm still learning, building stuff. Uh, it is advanced, but I'm still, like, struggling, man. Um, but no, I appreciate that. I have not got a dev job yet. I haven't even applied for any dev jobs. Like, um, but I'll tell you what we're doing, right? So if you remember, I'm sure you remember when we first started to learn the code. It was like, why are we learning the code? It was uh, two things, right? Going to start a startup or a dev job. So we're actually doing this thing right now. Start a startup phase. So I'm going to see if we can finish this project and see if I can actually sell it and get people on it. Um, that's what we're doing. Can you try setting the base URL? What is the base URL? Would that be the this sounds thing? I'm assuming, right? But um, yeah, above beyond, man, what's going on? Or would I need to give it the whole thing? URLs. Okay, so that's the second. Um, I think there's a way to get the, the thing for the sounds public. If I copy path, I don't know the difference between copy path and copy relative path. Oh, ready to publish public sounds. Um, I think just this, because like when I upload the file online, it wouldn't have all of the other stuff. I'm not sure if I need. Oh, maybe maybe like one of these. Maybe. <clears throat> Let's try again. Show me where the samples be. The samples are here. Sounds, and then we just go. What is this? Why have you got? Why have I got a JSON file in there? What the heck? <laughs> Dude, if that, I don't think that would be the bug, but what the, what is that? Can I just delete this? Why is that there? What is this? I don't want to delete <laughs> I think it should be in the public, like one directory above. What is it? How, how do I... Why is that there, dude? Just a maybe. <laughs> Leave it as fine. Um, uh, I'm gonna go and delete. We can go and delete it, man. Whatever. Yeah, move to trash. Out of here. Um, just finding my own. Just finding my own way as well. Currently have system admin job making 100k salary. Nice. Uh, we'll get nothing accomplished. Mm. Yeah, right. That just shows that money isn't everything, which is, which is like. Yeah, if you told me that five years ago, I'd be like, what are you talking about? But now, yeah, the fulfillment and like just like Warren Buffett says, like, you know, you, you want to be tap dancing to work every day. That's uh, so true. Uh, trying to decide to go 100% on the learning, going to full stack or free launching with Shopify. Dude, I'm no kidding. I was looking at Shopify theme stuff as well. And they've got this new hydrogen thing. They're working. I don't know when it's going to be released, but apparently at least from the demo they showed, you can now use React to build custom themes on Shopify, like whenever, whenever it gets out. Like that's gonna be neat. Um I would I would recommend freelancing because I'm looking into that as a potential um route as well. So yeah, we, you and I we can do it together, man. Alright, Hercules, I'm back with you now. Uh sounds should actually be in the sounds folder. Question mark? Uh, yeah, sounds. Yo, why is it on the sounds folder? 
<laughs> what? Dude, is that the issue the whole time? It's just sort of the wrong folder. <laughs> Alright, let's move all of that. Oh my god, if that's what the issue is, that's why it's never loaded. Because I'm giving it the wrong... Please don't move index HTML. Did I move index? I don't think I move that. Yeah, they say Hydrogen going to use React for other things. Yeah, that's really nice. They might use it for the apps too, right? The custom apps you can build on there. Man, I don't think I'm moving. Did I move index.html? I deleted the manifest though. Where's my... Yo, where's my index.html file? I'm just blind to... You, you did it? Oh, it was in there? Yeah, why is that in there? Oh my god, alright. <laughs> alright, it's gonna go back to public. I, I did not even see that, like 7 to 8, okay. Also, why is the index in the public folder and not in the source file? I have no idea. Alright, this might be it. This is... Man. This might be it. Let's, let's see if this works. <laughs> oh, the yellow one kind of scared me about that might have been the manifest thing but this won't work because we oh because the paths yes 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 all right um what do we well i mean it should be fine though because it's now in the sounds folder no Can you go through? Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Let's try it. Oh, crap. Yeah, because I'm running two different apps. This one's 3001. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. It does. It does. It does exist. The base URL. Huh. So when I upload the app like later on to I don't know Heroku or something, is it gonna automatically? Ah. So okay. <clears throat> so I need to remove all this dot dot stuff. Yeah, no, 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 that makes sense. Uh, I'm trying to think of problems that don't exist yet. And this one should just be, what did you say? Should just be s oh, the local host. I think it's 3001. I don't think it's 3002. But well, this one's on 3002 for some reason. <clears throat> Oh, am I looking at the right one? <laughs> Do I have three apps running at the same time? Alright, 3000 is the other one. Surely that's not. Okay, what the flip? <laughs> How do I terminate everything and just have one going? Terminate. Um, track, track, okay, no, alright, this was that guy's code, let's go and delete, close that one, kill all mode, alright, perfect, kill all, Ooh, look, oh. did it come a VS code? Yeah, <laughs> so gone. I think it did save, so it should be fine. Uh, 
Let's go back up. CD documents. Oh man, there's so many stuff. I think the one was drum machine. Was that the one? I think it was. <clears throat> Um, okay, so I should have done kill all node. All right. Uh, so above beyond, so what are you working on now? You're still going through. Like what step of the learning are you at right now? All right, is this the one with the correct All right, this is not it. This is not, is this it? Oh, too many files, man. All right, this is definitely not it, all right. <laughs> this, so this one is drum machines. So it must be the drum sequencer. All right, this one should be it. This, this should be dead, all right? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that, get rid of all of that. Yeah, this is the one. Perfect. So, if we do um, PM, PM star. So, I mean, the thing might be wrong now, right? The <clears throat> local host might change. I mean, the base URL might change. Okay, it's going to be 3,000, but we need to do that test to see if it actually exists first. Um, go through... Do the pull change, right. But you told me to test something to see if that actually exists there first. I can't, I can't find that link. What did you tell me to put in? Local host sound something something. Oh, can you open this bad boy? All right, let's try that again. Um, I want to. What the hell? Okay, so it still exists. That still is good. So that means it should be localhost three thousand now. Um, right. Yeah. You can send you check. How, how do I do a... Okay, let's just go ahead and run it, see what it does. Uh, so I'm going to the cons. I just did it, okay. Cool. Learning, learning new stuff. <clears throat> Alright, play... Ah, didn't fix it. Damn it. <laughs> right. What are we doing wrong? My computer's starting to hang. It's got too many tabs open. I'm just gonna clear out anything that I do not need. Um, do I need that? I do need that one. <clears throat> Can you show me the screen React shows you and scroll a bit? Sure. So basically, do a refresh. Right? That's what you mean. I think that's what you mean. Show me the screen react shows. I 
and I'll make it die. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this, this screen here. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in. All right, so it's got, sorry if I'm scrolling too much on the page on the left, yeah. Uh, error one, two, three, four, five, that doesn't do. I don't know what that is. This is from the error, start. Trigger attack. Okay. Hey, here we go. That's what the issue is. Drum to trigger attack doesn't want to work. And there's also. I have no idea what any of this stuff means. For each at time. Dude, there's so many, <laughs> so much error logs here. Wait, you're laughing because you figured it out. <laughs> there's, just, there's so many errors. <laughs> I hail Mary a term, man. I don't mean to try anything. Ticker, context, get context. Um, so you want to add an onload and on error function to option pass to the sampler. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, let's actually. I want to bring up. I want to bring up this as well. Tone JS sampler. So basically, uh, this one here, onload, is all you want to pass, right? On error function as well. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Um, yeah, I'm right. That can all go now. All right, and what should we do with the onload function here? right on on error let's spell that on error function Oh man, my keyboard skills. The, the later in the night it gets, the more sloppy it gets. All right, error, 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 error. All right, is this is this what we're doing? Uh, argument being passed in it. Um, Is that man? I have no idea what the argument that's been passed is. Oh. 
Looks good. Ah, man. <laughs> I'm just guessing. That kind of looks right. Like my, my intuition is telling me it's right, but I don't know. I don't know. It's newbie intuitions, man. Could be all wrong. Why is it all messed up? 170%. Okay, let's go to 120. Uh, where's, why is my thing... Why is the console so weird? Oh, do you see all the errors, man? Error, error, error. Network error when attempting to fetch resource. All right. So now we're somewhere. So it's not fetching the resource. We need to fetch the resource. Come fetch my sample. Why can it not fetch it? We're giving it the thing. So we need to do like one of those promises, maybe. Look at the network tab. <laughs> Dude, you are a lifesaver, man. I'm so just trying to say. Because I don't, I would have never figured this, all of this out by myself. Never. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say never, but it would have taken me three months for sure. All right, where are the network tab? I'm gonna refresh. I have no idea where any of that is. We're gonna click one of these. Do a play. All right, we have some, we have some fetch going on. Three or four bundle, bundle, bundle. Which one would you like to look at, good sir? Yeah, sorry, it, I've got a thing here, so when you swear, it doesn't, it just blocks it. Um, what is it trying to fetch? Fetch one just cached. What should I be looking at here? Media. Images, phone. It's not fetching anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the problem. Felipe Crespo. Felipe Crespo. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having fun. Watching me struggle and we're debugging an issue. Uh, all right, we're gonna console log. Console, what are we consoling? Oh, oh, you mean the console. Error, error, error. Line 72. So I'm just gonna bring, some, what's on 72? Ah, so dumb. Is it telling me where the thing's coming from? Yeah, something with buffers, man. What is tone, audio, buffer, main chunk, main dot chunk, the JS. Like, we do see that in the network tab. Like, this one here is doing some kind of fetch. Right? Uh, what's it trying to? I have no idea what it's trying to fetch though. This drum machine. What is all that? Request. It doesn't tell me what it's trying to fetch, so I have no idea what it's. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at ven vendors, vendors. Um, yeah, okay, nothing there. Cool. Tone. Oh man, tone audio buffer. So I'm gonna Google that tone. So Felipe, man, what's going on? Tone audio buffer. There we go. Let's look at this bad boy. Audio buffer, loading and storage, is internally used by all classes to make requests. So apparently Tone Sampler already uses this internally. So we shouldn't... Alright, let's go ahead and... 
let's go ahead and try this out. See if it, see if it, um, uh, all right. <clears throat> let's go ahead and import this. We're not going to name it buffer. It's going to say, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll take one of these sounds. And then, do I need to give it local logs in here too? I'm not sure. We're just going to say console log tone audio buffer has loaded. Right? That should just log something. Right, drum machine, let's clear all of that nonsense. Refresh the page. Dude, what is all this? All right, um, all right, we're, we're just gonna. Call me all of this up for now. Look at that, tone, tone audio buffer has loaded. All right, so that means. I mean, but this is saying that it automatically does this on all on tone sample already, right? It's used internally by all classes make requests such as. Or does that mean, do I have to manually do it? Yeah, something's messing up the base URI. Uh, so, so wait. So, what do you want me to test? Comment, comment the base. URL. Okay. Comment it. All right. And we're gonna leave the rest in there. Uh, that means I would. Let me get rid of this thing we just added here to. I don't think this matters, but we we'll just get rid of it. You can never be too certain. Um. All right. Refresh. Error, error, error. The buffer passed to... Hey, we're getting a better example now. Uh, the buffer, buffer passed to deco decode audio data contains an unknown content type. What? Unknown content type. Network tab. Uh, refresh again. This one looks like document... Probably a four four. Hey, look at these. <laughs> I'm staring right at them. So we do have the things now. But is any of those four or fours? Everything. Three, 304. What's 304s? What is the error? There's no need to retransmit the request. Really, is simply. Uh, try the machine. Um, while doing the network thing. Yo, <laughs> dude, it's working. Three just means computer cache file. You, I do. I have no idea why it's working. What do we do? <laughs> uh, we can make some beat snap, but why is it? I do, hang on, hang on, hang on. What do we do different? <laughs> like what? All right, let's see. What do we do different? We moved the files. Okay, we got rid of the base URL. I guess we don't even need any of that anymore, right? Let's just comment that out. Let's just make sure, let's save. Boom, boom, boom. Still works, okay, cool. 
So, okay, so we made a couple of changes. We added, we made the, I don't know what you call this, the pattern, I guess. So previously it was just this, we added it inside a URLs object. Um, and then we, we moved all the files from sounds to in here. It was basically outside of the sounds folder. We moved that. So we see so we only fix the path, move the files, and undid the chains of the base URL because the library resource, and it works. Dude, like, all right. All right let's see if we can make a beat. Now fuck that. Now fuck that. <laughs> now fuck that. Oh, wait, what? So one of the, the nah sound is basically, it's, it's a uh, sample. So, okay, we can't use that. Okay, so we now have an error again. Interesting sound to <clears throat> Yeah, I did not realize <laughs> it was in there. <laughs> uh, okay, why did it error out the second time? So if you try and play it really fast, too many notes looks like it just messes up. What the heck? One of them is yeah. Uh, that's why you also got the error in the console. So one of the um the sounds is okay. So that's fine. Okay, snare looks like it's messed up. Um, I actually want to get rid of this nah sound. This is the one that's <laughs> one that's swearing. Um, so that means one of my links here is messed up too. Oh yeah, this is not a thing. Oh, let's make the claps now. I have a base sub. Kick maybe. Yeah, okay. And uh, snare was the one that was messed up, right? I do not know why it was messed up. Um, <clears throat> what happens if I just comment this one out? Snow is still there. Okay, that's obviously not a kick. Okay, no more errors. That's ah, such an awful beat. Alright, yeah, alright, we got some beats cooking up there. Alright. Nah, that's terrible. What's that? Is that the? I think that's open eye. Man, appreciate your help. This has been. I was procrastinating on not coming online and doing this. I'm so happy I came online. I'm happy that you were here again. Appreciate the help. Now we can move on and make it look pretty. This is this is sick. All right, let's have some chords. Are you going to bed now? It is like 4 a.m. your time, I think. It's too fast, so we need to, um, yeah, BPM is still like 75 or something. Uh, 
Oh no, it doesn't hold the the thing in place. Oh man, you have no idea how happy I am. This is amazing. Let's go. Let's go. It took so long, man. The train has left the station. Thank you. Can you play Pete and Bass? Bermondsey. What is that? Uh, Pete and Bass, Bermondsey. I don't mind. I'll play whatever. As long as it'll probably copyright strike me, but whatever. Well, we will. Is it on YouTube, Spotify? Let's see. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Those do are so hilarious, man. Um, oh, yeah, let's listen. They're, they're the uh, actual crime artists, right? Yeah, these guys are funny. Yeah, let's rock on. <laughs> yes. It's a late night crime thing. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, this beat is nice. Let's go. I'm actually in London too, so this is like a perfect sound. Took a bag of the dust and flipped it. I worked like a bleeding dog. Same old trusty biscuit. The Emma don't look. Put it up and down that postcode. Offside to let's don't go. We throw fists like AJ. Sent it back to the lab for both. I got deals, just let me know what you need. I'll be down in a local boozer, minimum score. 91 shots, is that a song? Charlie Chaplin is a good bash with a walking stick. Silent movie, don't talk or I snatch your lips. Drive a bat in the back of a car. If a man tries to get far. Yeah. Alright. I am definitely gonna get hit with a I'm definitely the beats is cold, man. I'm definitely gonna get hit with a Copyright strike, but it is definitely worth it because you helped me fix the actual thing and make it work. Um, there we go. This is my beast. Let's go. We just need them to stop rapping on this. Um, I think this one still works. So that one doesn't work anymore. All right. So so we're gonna, get, we're gonna need to add so next steps oh dude next step is gonna be add need some add some valid oh, i can't talk add some validation so you can't multi-click and restart thing i uh, have a nice night thank you man we'll definitely see you around have a great one <laughs> oh man, it's been two hours but <clears throat> this is amazing so it turns out Turns out my setup was all wrong. The code was fine, my setup was all wrong. So that one can now go in the completed. Um, let's go to the Dream Machine. Yeah, that's completed, so now this this is fine too, it is functional, right? So this, this can go in here. Connect the database. So we, we'll do that. We'll do that last. Uh, I think the next step now is make the UI kind of UI refresh, I guess. Um, yeah. Very cool. All right, so we need to get the UI um, working. I also don't like the fact that it is. It's displaying in the wrong order. It should be. So instead of columns, it should be rows. Tracks of map, track index. Um, it's 
I think what I need to do is turn some kind of flex box and then direction is going to be column is the thing what I need to do, but man, it's I don't want to call this a stream actually. We got the biggest thing working, which is great. Um, yeah, it's also 3 a.m. I'm gonna go grab some, catch, some, catch up on some sleep. Uh, who's still around? <clears throat> yeah, appreciate everyone hanging around, but congrats again on eight out of nine. Oh, I think it's a seven out of eight. I can't remember which one, either way, that's awesome. Got Hasso Luminosity is back. What's going on? I haven't spoken in a while. Scoop, XYFM, Marble. Yeah, I will. I'm going to end the stream. We'll catch you all. I'll be back tomorrow for sure. I do want to raid somebody though. Who should we raid, guys? Twitch. Man, this is probably the most productive stream we've had. This, is, this has been awesome. Yeah, it's been a good day today. Just um, software development. Let's see who's around. Nobody likes me. Likes me or my stream. What? Right, we're gonna go raid this dude. Uh, how do we raid him? Alright guys, yeah again, appreciate you guys hanging out. I will be back tomorrow. We'll keep building the building the um the project. So what we're gonna be doing here and forward. See if we can make this work. See y'all later on. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and raid them.